So what's so, yeah, so what's up you guys? I'm out here again <laughs> working on the uh, KA. I didn't think the mic was on right there. But I got the 240 out of the shop for today. Um, but basically what I'm gonna try and do is make a little bracket for the catch can right here. And I'm gonna make a bracket and I'm also gonna cut the braided steel lines that go to this. And I'm gonna try and get that all situated so I have my catch can and that is operating in the 240. So that's the whole gist of this video. I hope it goes well. I'm sort of just wandering into this side project with uh, minimal like items and stuff like that. Like I still need to get the little breather air filter that goes on top of the catch can, but uh, I guess I can just have not, like not have a breather and just blow out the what you call it the crankcase pressure and stuff like that. So. Yeah, that's basically what the whole gist of this video is. I'm trying to get the catch can and the uh, 240 and all bolted up and everything. So, alright you guys. So, for the catch can, I found this little bracket looking thing. And I'm going to try and salvage this and make this the bracket that basically bolts the catch can to the, uh, to the chassis. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this little L piece off right here. And I'm going to drill two holes, similar to the two holes that are back on my catch can, that bolts up to the bracket. So, basically without this L, this, this piece will sit flat to the catch can and it will be able to bolt onto the catch can and I'll be able to have this little hole at the top that I can bolt this to the car and then the catch can will be like situated and everything. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm just going to cut off this little L piece right here for the uh, bracket that I'm going to be using or try to use at least. There it is, no more L piece. Now this will sit flush, still pretty hot. It will sit flush with the uh, catch can and I'll be able to bolt it up to the chassis that way. So, first part done. All right you guys, so now I'm basically going to just drill holes in this to line up with the two holes that are like right here in the back of the catch can so that this can get bolted up somewhat like this. Like I keep showing you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just get two holes drilled in, and then it should be ready to bolt into the car. After I drill a hole into the car, also. So. So now what I'm going to do is go over to the uh, 240 and just see about placing this in the spot that I want to. Um, hopefully it works out. But drill a hole basically where I want it to go in the 240. And then I'm still debating on what or how to fasten it. Like with a just a screw, like a self-tapping screw or whatnot or whatever. Whatever it has to be, it has to be pretty big. Or uh, I have to put like some washers on it or some crap. But I'm not trying to make it look as like ghetto I guess. So. That's what I'm going to do, is go figure out where I'm going to place this at. Alright you guys, so I'm thinking about placing it right here. Right here basically. Right where the blow valve like just blows right into it, so. Yep, that's probably where it's going to get placed at, like right there. I'm just going to drill a hole. I got like a self tapping screw right there with like a washer and a, a lock washer. I'm just going to do that, just to fasten it, because to be honest with you guys, I was having it just zip tied to like all some random crap down here, so I think that will be good, yeah, that's what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drill a hole right there and then put that sucker in there, so, yep, fasten my catch can down, and then I'm going to end up cutting my uh, braided lines right here, cutting that, and then I have another one, and then see how it comes out my valve cover, with the, I think it's 8AN, negative AN, and then that's what they both are. And I got these fittings right here. I really want to get a black one because I hate this blue. It just sticks out so much. So I'm going to swap these back in like this one to this side to where it's aiming that way. And then that one will be right here and it'll just be straight. 
and it'll sit in there like that and it'll be all Gucci so that's what I'm gonna do right now just drill that hole right there and then get that placed in there Fucked up, you guys. I'm taking it back off. Luckily, I got more hose. It's not long enough. Don't be like me. All right, you guys. So I got my whole braided hose line set up and everything like that. This one's going to the valve cover, basically to relieve all the excess pressure and all that good stuff in the engine. And then this one right here goes to the PCV, which is the positive crankcase ventilation. All right, but yeah, that's basically my whole catch can system. So all that pressure comes out and goes into the catch can and then gets released to the atmosphere. Um, normally, the PCV goes to the intake and back into the, like, through the whole system again, but I didn't want to do that with the turbo system, so. Of course, I'm running to the catch can, and the valve cover will always get run to the um, the intake for the stock KA. So, when you're running a boosted system, there's a lot more pressure and everything inside the engine, and it pushes a lot more oil out. So you don't want oil going into your intake. So that's why I'm running that to the catch can, so the catch can can catch all that excess oil and not go into my intake and gunk up stuff. So that's the whole reason why I'm running this catch can. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, then please do leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time, you guys. So peace out. Don't that sound stand for pussy cup vagina hose?